index downloader is uh, meant as a software package that downloads manga, which are Japanese comics, from the Mangadex website, which is a very popular website for sharing uh, and reading manga. So here's Mangadex and what this looks like, right? And given that I wanted to download a specific manga, I can use Mangadex in the following way. to provide this URL. And as you can see, this actually downloads that manga from the Mangadex website to my local machine for me to read. So this is what Mangadex Downloader does. And um, as I mentioned, Mangadex Downloader had a specific vulnerability that I will try to show you, um, you know, how it actually uh, exploited uh, things on uh, people's uh, computers. And this specific vulnerability was able to recover hidden files, secret files that are stored locally on the computer of the user that's using Mangadex download. So uh, in order to mock this up, um, I'm gonna use the browsing history. So for example, my browsing history, and I've stored some browsing history in this browsing history.txt file. And that looks this way, it has a timestamp and some websites that I've presumably visited. Now, this is my private information, and I don't want to be shared with anybody um, anywhere, right? So the way that Mangadex Downloader allows for this information to be seen is using a very well-crafted URL that you have to specify to Mangadex Downloader. So in order to do that, the first thing that an attacker would need to do is they would need to store the name of this file, which is browsinghistory.txt, and its location in a particular URL on the internet. The URL would just contain the information of the file that needs to be accessed. So I've done that in this specific URL, at the paste bin URL, which as you can see, when I retrieve it, just contains the name of the file browsinghistory.txt. Now, the next thing the attacker would need to do is it would need to craft a specific URL so in this case, it would just need to say file colon, which is a preamble for a URL that acts as a local file on your own computer. And with that preamble, it would add this URL to paste it. So what would happen is the software, Mangadex Downloader, would retrieve the information from the paste bin URL, which would be the browsing history.txt file, and then concatenate it to file colon, and in fact, what then it would, would happen is it would retrieve the contents of browsinghistory.txt. So this would look in the following way. So as you can see, within this error message is actually the content of the file, which is not what was intended and is a clear vulnerability. Of course, this vulnerability was patched very quickly in the next version of uh, Magnetix Download. But it shows us how a specific vulnerability, in this case, Magnetex Downloader not validating its input, not validating that this is a proper URL to the Magnetex website, uh, and instead retrieving its content, how that can, uh, can be exploited.